So on behalf of the marketing and management section of IFLA, I want just to thank you for joining us and agreeing to share your thoughts and experiences as a library manager. Uh, we would like to start our interview by giving you an opportunity to introduce yourself. Thank you very much. I feel very much honored to take part in this program. It is a very creative idea. I am Wu Jianzhong, the University Librarian of the University of Macau. The UM is the largest comprehensive public university of Macau and has the largest library building in the region. Before I joined the university in 2018, I was director of the Shanghai Library, the second largest library in China. Now I am in charge of the library, the university archives, the, and the university gallery. The new art museum is under co construction and will open later this year. Thank you. So um, what do you consider some of the unique challenges that you face in managing your library? As all the other academic libraries in the world, my library faces the transformation and this is the biggest challenge to me. In the past, the UM library's major task was to handle the book circulation and online searching. Although the library was well equipped with modern building and IT facilities, the services had been traditional. To transform the library from book-centered to people-centered and stay fully engaged with the development of the university, we have done four major things in the past four years. The first, we have developed information literacy programs to replace the traditional library use workshops. We compiled the textbook for the inter, uh, information literacy and had it published by Springer. We go to the faculties and ask professors to combine the IL courses into their teaching programs and they are working, they are well received by students. In 2021, the library provided about 100 IL programs. The second, we have developed research services, including patent services. We compile research reports, evaluation reports, and provide consulting services for the users. The third, we have developed Boya program. Uh, Boya means liberal arts in Chinese, combining all the cultural lectures, exhibitions, and new book release ceremonies. And this year, we are going to publish a book of selected Boya lectures. And the fourth, we changed the old millennial, millennial system to the cloud-based system that is ARMA in order to cope with the transformation. The ARMA system started in 2020 and has been working well since then. Fantastic. So what skills would you uh, want to encourage emerging man managers to develop to be successful? I think there are a lot of useful skills. Here I mentioned two, the skills of creativity and the mobility Organization. You need to know what you are going to do in the coming, say, at least five years, and the strategic plan should be creative and far-sighted. We should let our staff know that the whole landscape should change and the transformation be the major keyword. When you have a good plan, you also need to mobilize people to take action Normally, a public institution lacks an incentive mechanism. Authority and a bonus do not work. What you, are, you can do is to raise their professional spirit, play yourself an exemplary role, and work harder together with them. Great. So um, what management skills are you currently developing or learning? Uh, I think collective leadership is important. Before I took this position, we had been no leadership team. 
director decides everything. Now we have a leadership team and a regular system, a regular meeting system. All the important decisions are made by the leadership team, not by one person. Also, flexibility is important. The European administrative system has a strong influence on Macau, and it is difficult to change rules. I think that if you cannot change the system, then try to change the culture. Uh, here I mean organizational culture and develop new things on the old structure. Many libraries newly established creative programs are cross sectoral. For instance, a patent team is made up of people from three sections. They are working very well. Great. So this last question is, is actually um, my favorite. Uh, so what, what motivates you as a manager? Uh, this is a very good question. In China, we have a saying that poverty gives rise to the desire for change. When I started my library career in the 1980s, the libraries in China were very traditional and poor. I have witnessed and experienced the change and evolution from traditional library to modern library. Now the library buildings and the facilities become modern uh, and some even become world-class, for instance, Shanghai Library. But on the whole, the quality of the library services need to be enhanced. I think the real modernization of the Chinese libraries is still a long way to go. And that motivates me to work harder on it. I love the profession. And I think even after retirement, I can still do something, for instance, writing and teaching for this beloved courses.